comprehensive report on your father. If you do pursue this, it will impact this entire family. The demands of this fellowship. Travel, speaking engagements. Let us know your decision. Will was arrested after a fight in Philadelphia. There was a gun involved. You lied to me about who you really are. I just can't keep my mouth shut. I can't trust you anymore. Uncle Phil! I'm just going to split under pressure. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Bel Air, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Bel Air Season 1, Episode 9. This is the recap. Now, I'm going to try to focus on the key points in this episode. If I miss anything, you guys let me know. The title of the episode is called Can't Knock the Hustle. In the description of the episode reads, The Banks family goes to church. Will considers taking the opportunity to find his father unknowingly driving a wedge between Phil and Jeffrey. So those are the key elements of this episode. And man, we seen some tension in this episode, man, between Uncle Phil and Jeffrey. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Of course, your girl Lisa finally found out the truth about Will and why he was really sent to Bel Air. And we already know she has some feelings about that. So we're going to talk about that in this recap. But you guys let me know, man, what do you think about episode nine? It's building up, man. This whole secret about Will's father continues to build up. Hopefully we find out in the season finale exactly what went down with Will's father. But from the looks of it, it seems like they want to continue to build up this whole storyline. And then they want to hit us with a big bang. But we're going to talk about it, man. So what did we see in episode nine? Now, we know in this episode, Uncle Phil has a big debate with Fred. Now, Jeffrey is pretty much telling Will, we got to prepare for this. And we want to make sure everything is good. And Will does ask him about the information about his pops. Jeffrey tells Will, don't worry about it. He will make sure he goes and gathers that information. And when he does get it, he's going to make sure Will gets that information. Now, we get to church and it seems like your boy Carlton, he can sing. And he has like a solo spot that he's supposed to be having during the choir part of the church service. And we know just the look on Carlton's face, he's kind of nervous. Like, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really want to do it. But Carlton is struggling with that anxiety. We know he wants to perform at the top level and he wants to do it for his pops. But it's very, very difficult for Carlton to go out there and do this. Now we get to your girl, Ashley, and she is talking to Reverend Lamont. She's telling him that maybe, you know, the LGBTQ can get some higher positions within the church. And he tells her it is a work in progress and he'll see what he can do down the line. And Aunt Vib, she was looking like, man, so you are showing all this interest with this now. And we already know she feels some type of way about that because later on in the episode, she had a conversation with Ashley about this. Then we get to your girl, Karuchi. She is playing Ivy in this show. Um, and it seems like she's a big, you know, social media star, 10 million followers. And it seems like your girl Hillary and her have a history together. And Hillary, she is trying to do a collab with her in the future. But did y'all see the look on Ivy's face? It didn't look like she was really trying to do it. She just said, oh, OK, we'll see. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think that's going to play out the way Hillary thinks it's going to play out. Then we get to your boy Will and Carlton. And Will is, you know, trying to get some advice from Carlton about his pops, you know, about him getting information about him and what he should be doing. Carlton tells him, like, look, he doesn't have any answers, but maybe if he sat through church and listened to the word, maybe he'll get a solution on what he needs to go out there and do when it comes to making a decision about the information about his father. Now, Reverend Lamont, he's out there giving a word and he's talking about how people serve different masters and how, you know, people, all they want is money, power and, of course, eternal life. And after he was saying all this information, they zoomed in on your girl, Hillary, because we already know what time it is. When we're talking about Hillary and some of the things that she's been doing for social media for Kylo. And she definitely wants to change that. And that was one of the things that her and Uncle Phil talked about in this episode. Then we get to your boy Carlton, man. And he was doing good at first. His little solo spot. He can actually sing. And then y'all know Carlton, man. He got that anxiety. He started to freeze up. And he slipped up, man. And I felt really bad for him because the dude could not catch a break at all. He is always going through something each and every day episode so everybody was just looking at him like man i hope he is all right we know will's going to talk to him later on in the episode to make sure he is all good then we get to um viv she's having a conversation with ashley and she's talking about she didn't know that ashley felt so strong about gay rights and different social issues 
And Ashley's like, yes, you know, everybody should show some concern when it comes to different social groups and the things that we need to do to make sure that these social groups are comfortable, right? Now, we can see the body language on Ashley's face. She didn't like her mom putting that pressure on her, asking her about gay rights. You already know this topic of discussion is going to come right back up, especially when she finds out the truth about her daughter. Now, Will goes to Carlton and tells him, like, look, what happened to you out there? I mean, I hope you ain't using it anymore. And at the end of the day, Will, he has Carlton's back. Now, Carlton tells him he's been dealing with anxiety and he has not been using like that. And, you know, he's just trying to fix this. But with all the pressure on himself to be at the top level, he is trying to prove so much to everybody he's popped and he wants to be a good person. And Carlton actually mentioned, he was like, man, I felt like I should have used before I went out there because it would have, you know, eased the pain for me. But he can feel that something was going to happen. Will tells him, don't worry about all that. If he feels like he's breaking down, let him know. He will help carry some of the weight and help his cousin out. So it seems like Will and Carlton's relationship is getting better and better each and every episode. But Carlton still has some things he needs to work on. Then we get to Jazz and Hillary. And Hillary needs his help to go into this house and get her stuff from Kylo, right? And I'm looking like, man, y'all going in this spot. This dude got cameras everywhere. You don't even know if any of these cameras is on. I mean, this dude doesn't play around. But Jazz was cool. He was like, look, how about when we leave, we go to my spot. I make, you know, you some dinner or whatever. I show you that I can cook. Your girl Hillary is like, you know what? How about we go to my telly and we can just order some room service. So it seems like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be kicking it up in the telly, getting all close, getting room service. You already know your boy Jazz, he's trying to clap those cheeks. And if he keep putting in that work, from the looks of it, it seems like your boy Jazz just may be able to. Then we get to Jeffrey and he finally has the info on Will's pops and he tells Will like, look, this information is very, very important and it can change everything. You know what I'm saying? You knowing this can change this family. You know what I'm saying? It can change everything. So you got to think twice about knowing this information and what you're going to do with it. And Will is thinking hard because he's been wanting to know the truth about his father, what really happened. And of course, he knows this can change his whole stay Living with Uncle Phil and Unvib, I mean, it can it can pretty much switch everything up by him knowing this information. And Will, he sat back and just thought like, man, you know, I got it good. Do I really want to change any of this up? So this is what he pretty much tells Uncle Phil later on in the episode. Then we get to your boy Steven and, of course, Uncle Phil and Jeffrey. They're preparing for this whole debate. Now, Steven is like, look, you need to stop being nice to just go straight for the kill. You got information on Fred cheating on his wife while she was sick with lupus. I mean, go for the juggler. Now, we know your boy Jeffrey is like, look, you need to go ahead and stop playing around. You know what you really want to do. You're talking to us, trying to make yourself feel like whatever you're going to do is rational or whatever. But deep down inside, you know what you're going to go out there and do. Yes, this information will destroy Fred and his family easily, right? And Jeffrey just keeping it real. He's like, man, like, you're going to go out there and do whatever it takes anyway. You know what I'm saying? You playing around, acting like this is making you feel uncomfortable. But deep down inside, you know what you've done in the past. This is who you are. And Jeffrey mentions it later on in the episode about how Uncle Phil has moved and the things that he has done. I mean, he's going to do whatever it takes to win and protect his family at all costs. So, of course, this conversation, it kind of ended. Your boy Steven is telling Uncle Phil... Well, look, I don't care what y'all talking about. I ain't got time for no whole therapy session. Y'all need to get it together and feel you know what you got to do. You got to go out there and end him. Now, we get to the OG, triple OGs from the original Fresh Prince. Of course, we know her as Will's mom in the original Fresh Prince, Vi. And we see the second Aunt Viv. You know what I'm saying? We had two Aunt Vibs in the original Fresh Prince. Now, she is playing Helen. And Helen and Janice, they are, you know, ahead of this whole fellowship thing. And they are pretty much telling Aunt Vib, like, look, we want to pick you. You know what I'm saying? Based on the work that you put in and, you know, who you are and what you've done, we want to pick you for this fellowship. But the thing is, it requires demands. You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to handle all of these demands? They asked her why she stopped doing art for 15 years in the first place. And she does mention that it was really about her being tired of explaining her art, um, the stress that it you know brought to the table. And that's why she really stopped doing it for real. Now, we know if she was to continue this whole fellowship thing, it can bring that same type of stress back. Now, we know in this episode that Unvid was struggling 
with the fact that knowing she needed to, or at least she felt like she needed to take care of the family. Like she needed to be there to make sure everything was going good. But we know they gave her 24 hours to respond on what she wants to do as far as the fellowship. Now, your boy Will, he goes to Uncle Phil and he tells him like, look, he got the information about his pops from Jeffrey. He has not opened up the envelope yet. And I'm going to tell you right now, Uncle Phil probably was happy as hell that Will did not open up this envelope. Now, Will says, look, he doesn't really want to know the truth because he's probably going to be let down and he does not want to change anything up that will harm this family and that Uncle Phil has been more of a father to him than his actual father. And he loves it. You know what I'm saying? He loves the opportunity that Uncle Phil has given him and he does not want to change any of that up. Of course, Uncle Phil gives Will some words of encouragement, but we all know that Uncle Phil was happy as hell that that envelope did not get open. And at the same time, we know Uncle Phil was very, very upset with Jeffrey. Now, Carlton does thank Will for helping him not use because he was very close. He was very close to going to the OG form to coke out Carlton, but he didn't do it because he thought about what his cousin Will told him. And, you know, it all makes sense. Like I said, hopefully Carlton is able to push through. He does need that support and help from his family, though. Now, Will is trying to call Lisa, but he's not getting an answer. That's because Freddie Fred is telling Lisa the truth, the truth about Will, that he's been arrested, that he unfired off a gun, and that Uncle Phil did some illegal activity to help save him, right? We know that Judge Robinson pulled some strings for Uncle Phil and helped save Will. Now, Freddie Fred is like, look, if you don't believe me, how about you go ask him yourself? And when you find out the truth, that better be the last time that you talk to that Will Smith. So now we know Lisa is going to go and try to figure out what the hell really happened with Will and if he actually lied to her. Now we get to your boy, Uncle Phil and Jeffrey. You already know this conversation is going to happen. Uncle Phil is pissed off. He's like, man, I can't trust you. You're going around giving information up about Will's pops. Like, what's going on? Jeffrey's like, look, dude. I'm not about to hold that information in. I think the kid should be knowing the truth about his pops. Like, like, what are you talking about? We know that Jeffrey D on the side, he loves Uncle Phil, but he also loves Uncle Phil's family. And he's going to do whatever it takes to protect the family from Uncle Phil, if that's what he has to do. Even though his job is to do whatever Uncle Phil tells him to do, Jeffrey ain't going. He's like, hell no, nah, I ain't going for that, man. I ain't about to sit up here and let you destroy them. You know what I'm saying? You trying to pull the truth away from uh, Will. That's just not going to happen. Not under my watch. I can't do it. Now, Uncle Phil was pissed off. He said, look, the only reason that you're doing this and that you're siding with Lou is because you feel guilty about leaving your own boy. So we know that Jeffrey has, you know, some issues in the past about his son and stuff. I mean, yes, he probably does feel bad about what has happened with him and his son. But at the end of the day, Jeffrey feels like this is the best move that like will. He should be knowing the truth. Now we know Uncle Phil does fire Jeffrey. He's like, look, man, I can't trust you no more. I can't do it. And, you know, Jeffrey, he still looked out for Uncle Phil. He said, you know what? How about I just go on leave? You know what I'm saying? You tell them I went on emergency leave. That way you don't got to answer questions that you can't even answer. You know what I'm saying? You can't answer some of the questions that they're going to have for you about why I really left. You know this is the truth. Your boy Jeffrey kept it real, y'all. Jeffrey was picking Uncle Phil apart for real. He was telling him about his family, about, you know, some of the things that he's done as far as his wife, his son. I mean, his, it's just all over the place. Now, Jeffrey does tell Uncle Phil to prove him wrong because if he doesn't, his family's going to fall under the pressure and he's not lying at all. If Uncle Phil continues to do the things that he's been doing, his family's going to break up, man. It's going to be a bad ending for them. But having Jeffrey around... That was a solid move, you know what I'm saying? But now that Jeffrey is gone, you already know it's going to be some issues within the family. Y'all know Jeffrey was telling the truth because Uncle Phil felt it. He didn't want to let Jeffrey go. He didn't want to see that. But at the same time, he was like, man, I can't trust dude. I can't have him around. But that's his brother for real. Hopefully we get more details about Jeffrey um, and Uncle Phil and the whole truth about what really happened to Will's father. Because we know eventually it's going to come out. Now, Uncle Phil tells um, Vib that Will... You know what I'm saying? Has agreed not to know anything about his pops. He doesn't want to know. And that she needs to tell Aunt Vi to stop asking about it. Now, Aunt Vib does ask about Jeffrey. We know the whole family emergency excuse is out there. But she's like, man, this is the worst time for this to happen because of the debate that's going on. I mean, it's a lot of stuff going on with the family. 
and having Jeffrey around will make everything easier. Uncle Phil tells her, like, look, don't worry about it. He will handle everything. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know how Unviv is. She ain't going for that. She got the whole fellowship thing up in the air, and she knows she's not going to be able to be around the family like that. And that means in her heart, someone needs to take care of the home front. So she goes and she has a conversation with Janice and she's telling her like, look, she's got to, you know, let this go. The opportunity to be a part of the whole fellowship thing is just not going to work out for her because she's entirely too busy. Janice tells her she cannot make her mind up right now. She cannot accept what she is saying. She will, you know, get her answer in the morning. So she has to wait a full 24 hours, let everything go through, and then she can finally get her answer. Luckily, Janice did tell her that because we know what happened at the end of the episode with Uncle Phil. Then we get to your girl Lisa. She has finally popped up and she pissed off. She shows Will the picture of him, you know what I'm saying, being arrested, his little mug shot and stuff like that. And she's like, is this true? Like, what really happened? You've been lying to me this whole time. Your boy Carlton, he tried to step up for Will and said, look, it's not all his fault. You don't know all the details. But she ain't trying to hear any of that. You know what I'm saying? She was about to store him off. But Will is like, no. Just come and talk to me alone. Now, you guys let me know. Did it seem like your boy Carlton was still kind of pissed off? I know in the episode he was talking about he felt happy for Will and Lisa, but it did kind of seem like he was pissed off. Like, man, she just won't leave him. Now, Will goes in the room. He tells her the truth. Like, yeah, he shot, you know, the gun up in the air. He did not shoot anybody and that he did not tell her the truth out of respect for Uncle Phil. Now, Lisa does forgive him or whatever, but she t does tell him, like, look, my father's going to use this information in the debate. So hopefully you guys can stop this all from going down because we know Uncle Phil will be exposed if this does happen. Now, she doesn't know that Uncle Phil has a counter for this. All he got to do is go out there and say, you know what I'm saying, Freddie Fred, you be out there cheating on Lisa's mother while she was sick. But Lisa doesn't know this. I cannot, I cannot wait until she finds out about that, y'all. That's going to be a big one. But Lisa ends up leaving or whatever, but she didn't really want to. You can still feel that chemistry in the air between Will and Lisa. And I believe they're going to get over it, but I cannot wait to see, like I just told you guys, when Lisa finds out the truth about her dirty pops. Now we get to Uncle Phil and we get to Judge Robinson, the same Judge Robinson that helped Uncle Phil, that helped Will get out of jail, right? So we know he had owed him a favor, but it seems like that's not the case anymore. Uncle Phil was happy. He was like, look, I'm happy I'm not up under your wing no more having to do a political favor for you. And we know that Judge Robinson is telling him, like, look, the political game is not a game to be taking the high roads. You got to do whatever it takes to win. And we know Judge Robinson, he's willing to do whatever it takes to win as long as it fits his agenda. Now we get to Carlton and we get to your boy, Will. They were struggling to get up in the building to the debate. They finally get in there. They tell Uncle Phil, like, look, Fred is going to try to expose you with, you know, the information as far as you helping out. Will, you need to go ahead and just end the debate. It's not going to end well. Uncle Phil's like, nah, we're going to continue to have the debate. Don't worry about that. I will take care of everything. Now, Stephen tells uh, Uncle Phil, he's like, look, you know what to do. You got the, you know, perfect counter for Freddie Fred. And he could have went out there and hit him with that counter. Yes, it would have got messy, but I'm going to tell you right now, the family structure of Freddie Fred would have been done for. Now, we get to the debate. Your boy, Uncle Phil, decides to take the high route. He decides just to drop out. Now, the way he was talking at the beginning about family and being loyal and doing things for the family, you know, for a minute, I thought he was just going to, you know, confess and say, look, I did this um, for my nephew or whatever. And, you know, it is what it is. I did it to protect him. But he didn't do that. Instead, he's like, look, I'm up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And he tells everybody to go ahead and just vote for Freddie Fred. The family was looking kind of confused. Uncle Viv was looking happy because it seems like Uncle Phil has finally stepped up to the plate and said, you know what? I'm going to put my family first and they can do what they need to do to get themselves together or whatever. We know Aunt Viv, she wants to do the whole fellowship thing. And now she has the time to do it because Uncle Phil is not going to be in the whole DA race. So that means he has a lot more time he can spend at home making sure that the family is all good. And it seems like Uncle Phil took the advice that Jeffrey gave him. I mean, he understand that this pressure is getting very, very tough on the family. And Uncle Phil had to do something to fix it. Because if he would have continued with that debate and would at Freddie Fred, I'm going to tell you right now, it would have been a huge, huge mess. 
And that's a mess that your boy Uncle Phil was not trying to clean up and he wasn't trying to, you know what I'm saying, have his family out there looking crazy. So I guess, you know what I'm saying, the move he made was the best move. But y'all know Uncle Phil, you know what I'm saying? This dude is probably three to four steps ahead of the game. And I cannot wait to see what Uncle Phil has in store for the future. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Uncle Phil in the original Fresh Prince, he was a judge. And we know they kept showing Judge Robinson or whatever. Eventually, I would not be surprised if Uncle Phil becomes a judge down the line. Um, we know it could be an option if they want to go that route with this show. But we're going to see. But you guys let me know, man. What do you think about this episode? What do you think about the family secrets that continue to be hidden? I mean, eventually, they're going to have to get out. And we only got one more episode left. So I'm wondering if the whole secret about Will's father is going to get put out. Or will they end up making us wait until next season before they finally give us that family secret? But time should tell, man. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.